Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome to the channel. This is actually my first video. I've done YouTube before. Um, I was a photographer and I'm, I've done like photo shoots and things like that. But you know what? I wanted to delve into Yu-Gi-Oh uh, for YouTube. And I thought, you know what? Let's let's open Adventure Force. I've already opened, I think it was nine boxes and I didn't get a Starlight yet. So maybe, maybe these last few boxes have a Starlight in it. Let's see. Yeah, no, I think we should just get cracking and just open the pack and yeah, let's see what we can pull. Um, so yeah, let's do that. Okay, I hope the cameras are all picking this stuff up. Um, I mean, I, I know I said I did content creation in the past, but uh, I still feel a bit rusty. So yeah, we'll see how it goes. Um, just for your context, uh, I have a camera here, a camera there, and an actual camera that I'm doing the the footage on, so um, yeah, I don't think you should waste any time. Let's just get straight into it. One interesting thing that I realized is uh, once you open the first pack, the magic kind of goes away. So, you know, I'll try and try and try and keep this interesting here. Okay, we'll start with a few of these cards. Oh, wow, I feel like I have to talk about the Predator Plant archetype as well because they got some really Really interesting support as well. Okay, nice weather forecast. That's a decent super rare. Um, I checked out weather forecast a little bit back when Masterpiece was in the game because the two archetypes actually made a lot of sense together, funny enough. Um, but yeah, this card and the Link Monster are really, really powerful. Um, and it just helps making the other Link Monster even better, which is, I think it's like a non once per turn negate Negate and banish, sorry. So, um, also apologies in advance if I keep looking at different angles. The reason why I'm looking up is I'm just conscious of the glare, but you know, hopefully it's not the end of the world. Okay, going through the packs. Liberal Monster prevented, oh crap, okay. Liberal Monster, that is another archetype that, uh, oh man. I like the aesthetic of it. I like the whole look and everything. I like the idea. I think, I think the theme of the deck is like school kids that get superpowers or something. I don't know. But yeah, I really like the thought of the archetype. The only issue I feel like is there's no real wing con in the deck. So, you know, that's that's that, I guess. Um, but maybe, I don't know, maybe they get something incredible in the next pack and I'm gonna hate myself for not collecting them. So, you know, it's not the end of the world if I get them. Um, I've already got, I think, most of the cards from this set for Liberal Manta, but we'll see. Um, I think I'm missing some of the ultras, but anyways, let's go to the next pack. No secret ultra yet. Maybe we can, maybe we can get one of those. Uh, okay, let's keep going. Oof, let's go. <laughs> this is tough for us. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna put that guy to the side and uh, keep going through. Okay, um, like I said, I did open you know some boxes before and things like that. So I've seen this stuff. I've actually been testing him before I. Recorded. Okay, where did the common look nicest? Let's put it there. Um, yeah, I did some testing with uh, the Scarecloth guys before, and um, man, it's a difficult deck to really grasp. Um, I don't know if that's because their support is really not good, or yeah, I don't know. Um, I've been trying with Brave, and I might just try a pure build after. I think there's, I think Rescue Cat has some good synergy with them apparently, so I'm gonna try that too. Um, oh, nice Navy Dragon Mech. That's a uh, and I'm really trying to dodge this glare here, but yeah, that is, oof, I like that card. Um, I actually think it's related to Vermilion Dragon Mech. In fact, I'm pretty sure it is. Just put that rubbish over there. I'm pretty sure it is, so that was that's pretty cool. I think it's a level nine, level nine as well, so. Okay, let's move to the next pack. I'll try and speed up a little bit, because at some point, you know, you've just seen all the cards. Oof. They were months of fire burst. That's pretty cool, man. That is pretty cool. Ah, I probably got straight to all the cameras, don't I? Just in case I make some random content with this stuff. So, okay, cool, nice. Liberal Mansive Fire Burst. I actually only have one. Yeah, that's the second copy. Nice. And I do have a few of the cards for Liberal Mansive from. Damn, what was the name of the other set before this? I completely forgot. But I do have cards from there too, so I don't know. Maybe I'm building up to a collection of them. Um, if there's one thing I've learned since Branded Despia is never discount a random super ultra rare because you never know when something's going to shoot up. Um, 
I got quite lucky that I bought, I think it was three boxes of Dama and Dawn of Majesty. And I got the two Alubas that I needed as well as, you know, a lot of a lot of branded openings. So I never got to pay the £30 that it is right now, which is just like kind of ridiculous, man. Um, but, you know, what can you do? That's, that's, that's you know. <laughs> Okay, I'm probably looking up a lot, but I can't help it just because I haven't perfected the camera angle for you guys. Um, but anyways, we keep going. Cool. Divine Dragon Taito... Taito Namakia. Okay, I wish this card was like shiny. Kind of looks a bit dead as a common, but anyways. Alright, next pack. I think we have about four left for the right side of the booster box. We've got an early secret, I want to say. I don't know if it's early or not, but um, I just remember this is a side. Um, yeah, early secret. We'll keep going though. Oof. Patisho Kuverture. Okay. Um, level 5 fusion, which means insta fusion is. I mean, insta fusion is that one, but you can still summon that with it, which is pretty sick because I know kind of helps with the consistency of the deck although with pendulums there's so many routes you can go and i think that fusion card it has a uh, it doesn't go the typical route that you know someone like triff would use pendulum anyways still a good card nonetheless yeah okay more perform power support i have so many of these and i don't know if i'm going to build pendulum i probably won't to be honest i don't hate the playstyle, but it's also not up my alley to be honest I think the closest thing I like to Pendulum is Dino Mist because I don't know, mechs and dinos, it's just a cool, cool combo. Okay, let's keep going through. Man, I really hope these cards are in focus or... Oof, ooh. The good ones are displaced. Okay, I think I have... I think I have... Other copies of that card, so that's nice. What is that, second ultra? Second ultra is just... So Liberal Mancer as well. One day we'll get a full Liberal Mancer set. That'll be interesting. Uh, Therion Reaper. Damn, this guy, I wish Therion Reaper had a rarity bump. I love this card's art. One of my favorites. Uh, does that work? Gosh, I don't know. We're just figuring this out as we go, aren't we? If I touch that, does it focus it? Kind of, but the glare is there. But yeah, I really like the art of Therion's. Um, Oh, another Navy, Dra Navy Dragon mech. Okay. Yeah, I love the art of the Therians. I wish a lot of them were shiny, though, to be honest. I think they missed the mark there. That's fine. Actually, you know what? They should have definitely increased the super rarity on the Therions and, in my opinion, reduced it for the Pendulums. But anyways, here's what it is. Let's keep going. Scarecrow. Oh, Scarecrow. Yeah, that's another. Ooh, yes. <laughs> Legal Knight, let's go. I think that's my second one. Um, I don't know if you run two. I really don't know. But, you know, having one and then having another one for like a friend or maybe just keep it for a second deck or something is um, is never bad. Nice. That is actually a really good pickup. I, now, hold on. Let me let me show this guy off more, man. What am I doing? Oof. Damn. Look at his art, man. Wait, why am I touching the card? I should be touching the screen. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. Damn, that is insane, man. So this archetype, right, adventure, they're based off of, I don't know if you guys watch anime, but Log Horizon. So it reminds you of Log Horizon, how, you know, it's based off of like a JRPG or an RPG game. So I'm guessing this is like something you'd encounter in an RPG game, maybe, I don't know. Um, but you know, I need to sleeve these, what am I doing? I'll just leave this up. Um, man, I, I rushed out the house to get here and film that I completely forgot. Nearly, I nearly forgot about bringing some sleeves, but yeah. What I usually do is I just sleeve the ultras and, and the secrets. That's really it, to be honest. Unless there's a super that I actually know is very popular and very powerful. Um, I think a good example is Branded Banishment. Yeah, that card is insane, man. The fact you can not just must reborn a regular level 8 fusion, which is obviously uh what's his name mirror jade we can fuse the opponent's field and um yeah in the mirror match it's disgusting because you banish and you know you get rid of their resources as well yeah it's pretty good man um have i gone through this pack or am i no i haven't okay super wait did i just okay i think illegal now was part of the previous pack that's fine and um yeah oh you know what the symphonic cards let's talk about that for a second someone's gonna laugh when they hear this but uh 
Yeah, the symphonic cards I think were really useful in a version of the Super Quantums. Yes, that's right, I said Super Quantums. <laughs> um, again, sorry guys that I keep looking up. I'm just, I'm a perfectionist when it comes to this stuff. I just want to make sure you guys are able to look at the card. Ooh, yes. Okay, I don't play Exorcist, but uh, <laughs> Splite, right? Splite? Yeah, man. This card. I'm going to have to fix my focus settings after this. Yeah, I think this card is a good matchup against Splite, and it's why Exorcist is, I guess, ramping up in price, I want to say. And you know what? I just want to highlight, right? It's pretty cool that Grand Craters, every archetype is actually relevant now. Um, I feel like they should keep doing that in the future because, you know, They've done really, really well with Grand Craze, in my opinion. Collector Rares, mm, maybe. I mean, as a Dino Morphia player, I like that there's traps, you know. We have a Solemn Strike as a Collector's Rare, and I think Torrential Tribute. And, um, yeah. I Although I haven't got them, I like that they're there, but I also think it could have been something different, you know. Uh, okay, let's keep going. Speaking of Collector's Rare, I've never pulled one. And I've never ever pulled a Starlight 2. Oh, nice. This is literally what I was talking about. Branded Banishment. I'll just quickly read it for you guys. Target one Despia monster or level 8 or higher fusion monster in your graveyard. Special it, then you can apply this effect. So you can actually just special summon the Despia or level 8 or higher fusion. You don't even need to fuse, which is sick as well. It's called Haunted, um, which is nice. So yeah, and then you can fusion summon a level 8 or higher fusion from your extra deck by banishing materials listening from either field. So, okay, actually, this doesn't replace Branded in Red. I just realized that because to summon Chimera, you need to fuse from the hand. So, and this says from either field. Ah, damn. Okay, that's interesting. I didn't know that. Yeah. Make sure you read your cards, people. That is, that's news to me, actually, which means I'll probably keep my Branded in Red ratio in my deck as two. I don't think I'd reduce it. Um, okay, interesting. I feel like that definitely catch. Oh, nice. Zombie Reborn. This is a cool card. Um, yeah, I feel like that might catch someone out at locals, you know. Um, they might just assume it's like an automatic uh, branded in red replacement, but it definitely is not. Okay, let's keep going. But I think it's still a good target, you know. I think keep it as a one of is nice. You can always choose when you... Um, you can always choose what you set with uh, Albion. So, you know, you never... Ooh, Otter is a winged dragon. I'm going to be honest, the art is a bit confusing for this card. I can't really see where everything is, if that makes sense. Uh, I I apologize for all this focusing stuff. I will get better, I promise. Okay, nice, clear. What oh, is Wing Dragon? Not gonna lie, his art is a bit weird. It's like hard to tell what's actually going on. Um, but yeah, cool pickup. What oh, is Wing Dragon? I don't know if it's playable. It's a, it's a oh crap! It's three K attack. Okay, so it might. I thought it was on the level of like clearing, where it's like a mini boss monster, but no, I think it's a legit boss monster. So that's even cooler. All right, let's keep going. Surprise chain. Activate as a chain link two or higher. Apply the following effects depending on the chain link number of this card. Okay, in sequence. So this is jokes. Uh, two plus, excavate the top cards of your deck. Equal to the chain link and then place on top of your... Oh, okay, so it just fixes the top of your deck. That's, I mean, you don't really plus off it. You just shift it around. Chain link three or higher. Send the top card of your deck to the graveyard. Chain link four or higher. Draw one card. Nah, I think that's I don't think that's a good card, man. I mean it's a cool idea though, I like it. Oh, speaking of weather painters earlier, boom. Weather painter Moon Bowl. Okay, her art is actually sick as well. She's got like all the, the paint in front of her. Like as a piano or something. That's pretty cool art. Alright, nice. Okay, another ultra. Ray. Let's leave this up as well. Um actually, you know what? I think that's the fourth ultra. We've got two secrets, so I'm pretty sure these packs are not going to have much in them. But we'll just finish them off. There's only one more pack left. And yeah, okay, let's go. Heroic Challenges. Yeah, I don't know much about this archetype, but I read the Exceed, right? And it said, pay life until you have 500. I don't know why. I don't know if that's their gimmick, but it didn't sound like there was a good payoff to doing that on the Exceed. So nah, I'll give them a miss. Motor Frenzy. That's a strange one. I'm not even going to read that. Um, <laughs> okay, let's go to the last... Last pack. Okay. 
Okay, if I do another box opening, I promise I will stop looking up. It's just such a habit, man. Okay, sorry. All right, let's go. Surprise chain. Dogmatica. Turgy. Okay, that was, I had to really focus on that. Scareclaw. Sclash. Not Clash. Sclash. Um, I think that's the Scareclaw card that negates. It's an Omni Negate. So, I mean, that's good, you know. At, at this point in the game, if a deck doesn't have an Omni Negate, what are you doing, you know? You know, I'm looking at War Rocks, for example. Battle Phase uh, inspired deck just won't do well in this format or this the way the Yu-Gi-Oh is right now. Um, but anyways, I think I think that's the end of the pack. Uh, I'll probably stop looking up there now. Now that there's no packs there, um, but yeah, I think that's the end of the pack. It was decent. I mean, this is Star Frost, Illegal Knight. I already have a copy of both of these, so it's not too exciting for me personally. But I mean, it's always good to pull new cards. This Star Frost is sick. Um, I don't know if it's a lot of copium, but I feel like this card is low-key broken in the near future. Maybe there's an arcade that benefits off of getting pop. Maybe the dinosaur engine. Actually, ooh. With uh, Baby Ceratosaurus, you can pop it. Oh, shit. Okay, with Baby Ceratosaurus, you can pop it. Right. Special him. Level 6 tuner. Baby Ceratosaurus brings that at level 4. Boom. Baron. Easy. And that's Baron in what? Let's say like 3rd or 4th summon. I mean, obviously you have miscellaneous, so you're not you're protected anyway, but that's pretty decent, actually. Okay. Um... Illegal Knight here, yeah, then we've got Libra Manta Fireburst. Damn, the focus is crazy, man. Maybe I need to change and get the right one, but okay. And then, yeah, the Weather Painter. And then Libra Manta Displaced. Okay, I think that is the box, the end of the box. I want to do another box opening. I think I can. So if you're seeing this part of the video, that means one is in the works and is another one is planned to come out. So hopefully stay tuned for that. What I probably should say, seeing as I'm a neutron, you're probably wondering what, what that's about. I definitely plan to make uh, ongoing Yu-Gi-Oh content now that I've, I've, I've got a place where I can like, record and stuff. It's pretty exciting. Um, I love Master Duel as well. Like I play a lot of that right now. I'm not Diamond yet, so I might do like a Diamond series with like a certain deck or something like that. I don't know. And yeah, I'm just excited to really just get into this, start documenting, start creating videos, having fun, you know, duels some in real life duels, uh, maybe vlogs of like regional reports and things like that. Um, I think it's going to be pretty exciting and um, yeah guys, I think that is the end of the video. I do not have an outro yet. <laughs> I, do, I do not have an outro yet. So yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Okay, peace.